Today's flip video will be on population pyramids. Please make sure you fill out the appropriate task sheet as you watch this video. Here is a population pyramid for Canada in 2012. You'll notice that they use bars to represent males and females. The blue bars are representing the males and the red bars are representing the females. At the center you'll see that the age groups are indicated. Notice that the age groups go up in increments of five years. Along the bottom you'll notice that there's two different axes. These axes will either show you the populations in millions of people or it will be a percentage of the population. Finally, a single bar on a bar graph indicated by the green area here indicates a cohort. A cohort is an age group on your population pyramid. When reading population pyramids, it tells you a lot of information. For example, here are three population pyramids for the Dominican Republic. You'll notice that there is very different shapes. In 1975, there was a wide base. A wide base indicates a high birth rate. In 2025, you'll notice that the bar lengths are shorter. This indicates that they expect the birth rate to slow down. Symmetry on a population pyramid is often the same. However, sometimes asymmetrical features do occur. For example here, when considering the older people in the population, you'll notice that the females are living longer than the males. There's two basic shapes for your population pyramids. The first is concave. In a concave pyramid, you're going to have a wide base indicating a high birth rate and not very many people reaching an older age. This indicates a de high death rate. The opposite is convex. In a convex population, the birth rate slows and you can notice this by the bars being shorter than the previous ones. Sometimes there is irregularities in your population pyramids. Here's a population pyramid between 15 years, from 1970 to 1985. You'll notice that there was a big bulge in the number of people that were born during that time, and it has slowly moved up the population pyramid as those individuals became older. The dependency load is the number of people who are too old to or too young to support themselves, so they depend on the rest of our society. Generally, these are people that are under 15 years of age and over 65. Pause for a moment. If a country had a high dependency load, what might a country need to consider? With many people below the age of 15 and above the age of 65, we are going to need more health care and more educational facilities for these individuals. There are three main types of population pyramids. The first is expansive or expanding. In this type of population pyramid, you're going to have a wide base indicating a high birth rate and a narrow top indicating a high death rate. Generally speaking, these populations are characteristics of lower standard countries or developing countries. This is often due to lack of birth control, lack of education, and medical care. The second type is stationary or stable. Here's an example using um, Iceland. The base of the population pyramid is similar to the width of the population in the reproductive ages. You'll notice that generally the bars remain at the same width from young to about the age of 40 or 50. If you have the straight size, this is going to indicate a station or stable population. Generally speaking, these populations are characteristic of higher standard of living due to low birth due to a low birth rate due to family planning, access to birth control, financial planning, and education. There's a low death rate due to good medical care, nutrition, and education. The third main type is contractive or declining. These population periods have a narrow base. You can see that here with there was a fewer number of children actually being born into the population than typically was there before. This indicates a decreasing population trend. 
a low birth rate is indic indicative of a well-developed country. Take a moment and test yourself. Here are six questions. If you are unable to answer these questions, you have not understood the lesson well enough and you need to review it again. Thank you for watching our flip video on population pyramids.